She tried it, baby. Okay, get in here, get in here, get in here. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick little story time. I'm going to tell you this right now. Check your man. Don't check me. All right? And I want I want y'all all to come in here right here and right now, okay? Especially those women and those men out there where you know you a little insecure about your spouse. You insecure about the fact that they got a wandering eye. Okay, so get this. I'm walking around, okay? I got my cute little outfit on, okay? My cute little onesie piece out here, okay? It's nice. It's breathable. It's cute, okay? So anyway, I'm down here at the grocery store, right? And no, I do not wear this kind of thing to go grocery shopping. I was working. I was filming. I was doing my thing today, and I, I still had on what I was filming in, okay? Click like and click share, okay? Please Please let me know you shared it, okay? Because y'all gonna want to hear this story, okay? So I go down to the little store, right? So I was like, let me go pick up something. I picked up some vegan chips, um, basically just gluten free. They ain't got no eggs or whatever. I don't know what they got and they make them vegan, but they vegan. So anyway, I picked up that, some pico de gallo, and some um, vegan spinach and artichoke dip, right? So anyway, so I go down there, right? Let me just call this thing out, okay? Her man is gay. You heard me very clearly. Click like and click share. Her man is gay, okay? Thank you for sharing this video, Chris and Erica. Let me know you when you share so I can call y'all out, okay? So anyway, I'm walking into the grocery store, right? I'm wearing this thing, okay? And I'm not going to let the camera go too low down, but honey, she shows the curves. So I'm walking through there, okay? I got my little Balenciaga platforms on, okay? So you know my legs is looking real good. Everything's looking real good and real shapely, okay? So I'm walking and I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, right? And then I see this man walk by the aisle that I was on. He walks by, he looks back, okay? He walks by again, he looks back. I'm like, why is this man, every time I look up, he is walking by the aisle. I'm on, mind you, I did not see he was with nobody, okay? So I'm just up there looking for what I'm looking for and everything like that I'm having. I'm just looking for my stuff, right? And so next thing I know, he comes down the aisle where I'm on, right? And I mean, he all right. Look, he wasn't nothing special. You know, he was all right. Just, you know, all right, you know. But he said, well, so I'm doing what I'm doing. And then he was like, he's like, are you looking for something? I looked at him. He didn't look like he worked there. And I said, oh, do you work here? He's like, no, I just was, you know, I come here a lot. I was curious, were you looking for anything? I knew what it is, honey. I knew what it was, okay? And so I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not looking for anything, okay? And when I look down like this, guess what I see right there? A wedding ring. Now, this is not my wedding ring because this is my right hand. This is my left hand. The camera flips it, okay? So he had a legitimately a, a wedding ring on his left hand, right? And so I look and I was like, no, I'm good. I'm not looking for anything. And he just wasn't my type, okay? He just wasn't, you know? He just wasn't, he just wasn't. You know, so anyway, so anyway, he's like, oh, okay. He's like, well, my name is so-and-so. Do you live in the area? Puts his hand out to shake my hand. I did one of these, okay? I did one of those, like, I don't want to shake your hand things. I was like, okay, my name is so-and-so. You know, I was like, nice to meet you. I did just a, like a little nice to meet you. Just a, how you doing? I was polite about it. But I'm like, uh-uh, 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 I don't do that. I don't do that. I'm classy. And so, so he's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I live in the area too. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what, so, um, yeah, like, you know, you could, you come around here often. What gym you go to? I was like, I work out at home. He's like, oh, okay, cool, 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 yeah. And he's trying to, you know, what, what, you know, what, what street are you on? Honey, I don't know you. I'm not telling you where I live. I'm just, I'm just making conversation. I'm just making conversation. Honey, I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of him, right? As sure as my name is Malcolm, guess who comes walking over so quick? This woman. Babe, babe, babe. I hear somebody saying, babe, babe, babe. I know she ain't talking to me. And so I turn around. She talking to him. He's like, oh, yeah, hey, hey, baby, how you doing? She walks over. I'm relieved because somebody's going to get rid of this man. And then she looks, she looks at him and then looks at me like this. And she's like, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm his wife. I said, hi. I didn't even say my name. I said, hi. She says, she says, she says, I'm sorry, what was your name? I said, I didn't say my name. I said, and if this is your husband, I said, it's been nice meeting you both, but I would like to get back to my shopping because whatever's going on between y'all, baby, ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't saying it had nothing to do with me, but I was saying, ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. So I just like to get back to my shopping. Okay. And she was like, okay, well, this is my husband. Just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. I said, well, I'm aware now. And I said, I was aware when he walked up to me ask, asking for my name. And I saw that ring on his hand that he was somebody's husband. I said, but it's great to meet you. Okay. I turned my head again to go back to what I'm doing. Like, hand, hand, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And she's like, yeah, okay. Well, it's great to meet you. And hopefully this is the last time we'll be interacting. Let me pop off my earrings. Okay. I said, I said, baby, I wasn't looking for the first time to interact. I said, if this is yours, can you take him away with you? My exact words. If he is yours, can you take him away with you? Okay. Oh, baby, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. And today's not the day. Okay. Can you take him away with you? 
So anyway, she gets to walking away and whatever like that. And I hear, and she's grabbing the walk away. I hear her say, I can't stand these gay men. This woman says this. I can't stand these gay men because these gay men always are trying to take what's ours. Excuse me? Excuse me? So I said, excuse me? She says, I wasn't speaking to you. I said, but you were speaking about me. Listen, click like and click share. Please share this, okay? So I'm about to get everybody together with this. And so she turns around. She gets a little bit of energy to her. And she turns around. She says, well, what I said was, it's a shame that you all don't know how to respect people's marriages. You all. You all. Now I'm you all. I said, well, ma'am. I said, can I ask you a quick question? She was like, yeah. I said, ma'am. I said, have you ever had to wonder about your husband? I'm not throwing nobody out there because I'm not going to tell her what he did to me, right? She'll see it now. Have you ever had to wonder about your husband? And she says, what do you mean? I said, well, let me ask you this. I said, when you walked over, was I actively talking to him or was he talking to me? You saw him when you walked over. He was, he was engaging me, not the other way around. I'm sitting up here looking at the chips, trying to figure out why all these chips got milk in it. I was like, why you got to put milk in chips? Like, I'm just looking for some vegan chips, you know? And he keep on talking to me. And she's like, that's not the point. You were standing right there and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And I, I know how you all are. You walk out dressed like that, blah, blah, to get attention. I said, but how could I get anybody's attention if they don't want it in the first place? Let's just call it thing. Let's say that I was trying to come out there with that kind of energy. I'm serious. Let's say I was trying to come out there with that kind of energy. How can I get the attention of a straight man if he's straight? All right. And I'm going to take it even further because this has nothing to do with sexual orientation. Okay, what this has everything to do with is those of y'all who are out there, y'all know who I'm talking about, where you know you dealing with a cheater, you know you dealing with a wanderer now, you know you dealing with somebody you can't trust, and you take it out on everybody else in the world, okay? I'm going to tell you this right now, just like I told her, okay, baby? If your home was taken care of, then you don't have to worry about what's happening outside of your home. If he was loyal to you, then you don't have to worry about who's looking at him, okay? If he was really yours... You don't have to worry about him ever becoming somebody else's. But your concerns, your questions, your pauses, what that's a reflection of is the fact that you know that all that the buttermilk ain't clean, honey. You know that your house ain't right. Okay? So why don't you focus your energy on getting your stuff together? Or for that matter, why don't you focus on being in a relationship with somebody who actually deserves you rather than being in a relationship with someone that makes you look like a fool out here in these streets chasing behind someone that everyone knows wants everyone else but you, baby. You weren't even outside of the store. He wasn't even here by himself. And he took the extra moment while he thought you was in the other aisle to try something, okay? I'm gonna give you this lesson right quick. Listen close, right? And if you like this outfit, don't worry. You will see it again, honey, all right? Because I love it, honey. I will rewear an outfit until I get tired of it, all right? But let me tell you this right now, okay? You say this right now. You, yes, you. Click like and share. Thank you for sharing this video, Amethyst and Robbie. You deserve to be in a relationship with somebody who you don't have to question their intention. You don't have to question what they're doing. You don't have to question, are they really there for you? When you are sitting around here, walking around here, paranoid, questioning and wondering what they're doing, just understand that that is your intuition already telling you that that person's not here for you. That's your intuition telling you that this person is not in your corner. That's your way of already knowing that something's not right. So stop taking out your intuition and the discomfort that comes with the truth on other people and own your truth so that you can stop standing in these streets looking crazy. Some of y'all already know. There's a relationship that needs to be ended. There's a bag that needs to be packed. There's a lock that needs to be changed in your house right now. And y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? So stop coming after those of us who happen to be getting the attention without our, without our intention of your spouses, okay? I'm not going to walk out the house wearing a sackcloth. I'm not going to walk out of here looking crazy. Yes, I look good. I certainly do, baby, okay? And you do too. So find somebody going to give you their full attention. So to that lady, God bless you. And if I see you in the streets, I'm going to say God bless you again. To that man of hers, honey, you need to live your truth and stop wasting that woman's time. I'm going to go. Bye.